physics is everywhere. Yeah, I thought Cher was a man too. I know. This is weird. Oh, it's cold. It's really cold. I'm so excited to leave. No! What? What? The battery's dead. I need you to jump start me. We're in Dover at Caroline's house. Thanks. Bye. You're gonna need a complete path through which charge can flow. Like an electric circuit. Like jumper cables? You're right! Jumper cables! A charge can be transferred by friction, induction, or contact. Like these jumper cables. Red cable! In order for a charge to flow in a conducting wire, the wire must be connected in a complete loop that includes a source of energy. Our source of energy is the battery. The battery is a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy. Most houses today use circuit breakers instead of fuses to prevent overloads. A circuit breaker is a switch that opens when current in a circuit is too high. If one element stops functioning in a parallel circuit, the rest of the elements still can operate. A parallel circuit is an electric circuit with two or more paths through which charges can flow. A series circuit charges only one path through which it can flow. If one element stops functioning in a series circuit, none of the elements can operate. So if one of these bulbs go out, all of them will go out. The SI unit of electric current is ampere or amp, which equals one coulomb per second. The two types of current are alternating and direct current. In direct current, charge flows only in one direction. Alternating current is the flow of electric charge that regularly reverses its direction. An electric insulator is a material in which charge cannot flow easily, like rubber, air, or wood. An electrical conductor is a material through which an electrical charge can flow easily, like metals or water. The rate at which electrical energy is converted to another form of energy is electric power. The unit of electric power is the joule per second, also known as watt. Putting this cookie into the microwave is converting it to thermal energy. The science of using electric currents to process or transmit information is electronics. Communication devices use microchips to make them more portable, more reliable, and more affordable. A computer is a programmable device that can store and process information. And is driving from that position to the pole. She's now driving towards me. Then, she's going to drive to the other pole. That was her overall distance, not her displacement. This here is the overall displacement vector of the vehicle. Driving the car to the first telephone pole to Caroline was two vectors. If I add the vectors together, you can find the complete distance. Speed is the ratio of the distance an object moves to the amount of time the object moves. Two ways to express the speed of an object are average speed and instantaneous speed. To figure out the instantaneous speed, just look at your speedometer. To figure out the average speed, use the total distance traveled divided by the time it takes to travel that distance. Velocity is a description of both speed and direction of motion, like this car. How fast am I moving? Well, that depends on your frame of reference. Are you talking about how you're jiving in the car, or the car relative to the road? The road, Caroline. Well, you're going 50 miles per hour, but I am interested in your dance moves. Acceleration. 
acceleration, it's an increase in speed, or a change in motion. Acceleration could be a change in direction too. This way, and this way. I'm always accelerating from changing speed. <laughs> <laughs> of fluid friction opposes the motion of an object to a fluid. Hey, so. Hey. Fluid friction increases as the speed of the spoon moving through the coffee increases. Static friction is the friction force that acts on objects that are not moving. This is sliding friction. It's a force that opposes the direction of motion of an object as it slides across a surface. When a round object rolls across a flat floor, both the object and the floor are bent slightly out of shape. This change in shape at the point of rolling contact is the cause of rolling friction. You see? Physics is everywhere. <laughs>